You are such a buffoon! I didn't mean to, I just fell. He's not. Wow. You are such a buffoon! He's not, really. How can you be so calm? One of the most important artifacts in our families has been destroyed! Dad, chill out. It got fixed. Are you not impressed? I'm not impressed that it got broken in the first place! Is he bipolar? <sighs> Aaron, chill out. You do realise it got fixed. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's just Centurion. I know, I'm just not used to everything. But you have caused a lot of damage. Yeah, but they've all been fixed. Yeah, but the amount of times I've had to fix something is overwhelming! Then maybe you can transfer some of your magic to me so I could fix my own disasters. Yeah, because that's not going to make even more mess, is it? No worries, you can teach me how to use magic properly so I don't make any mess. Yeah, but you don't need magic to clean things up. It would be an advantage, though. Then you wouldn't have to clean my extreme mess up. True. So you're asking me to conjure up a spell to transfer some of my magic over to you. I don't think there is a spell for that. However, I could combine the transmogrification spell with the enchantment spell. But the enchantment spell only works with objects, and the transmogrification spell allows you to transform into anything you want, but it only works with living things. I'm sure that'll make the enchantment spell work on living things, though, right? Go ahead, try it. Yes, but... oh no, I just thought of something. What? Never have I tried a spell that requires this much effort. What if I accidentally use too much power and then the Lost Swing takes over and tries to kill you? That's just bullcrap. I highly doubt the Lost Swing's gonna take over. Anyways, if she does, then I'll be the Lost Centurion! Am I right? Okay. So, I'll combine the transmogrification spell with the enchantment spell. Are you ready? Hopefully this goes well. You know, you don't have to do it. Now that I think about it, it might go a bit overboard. No, it should work. I've studied magic for the past 22 years, ever since I was like five or something. Just trust me. If you say so. I'm sure it'll work. Are you ready? Go ahead. I think that worked. Do you feel any different? No, except there's a little tingle in my nose and it's really bugging me. I'm sure it's just the magic settling in. So, how does it work? Well, to get your magic to work, you need to find the trigger of how to get it work. My magic comes from my horn like most unicorns. And to get it to work and charge, I... I don't know how to explain this. It, it just happens. You just... And then it, and then it just comes on. Since you don't have a horn, the source where your magic's coming from should be your eyes? It worked! Well, that's easy. Now let's start off with the simplest spell. Levitation. Telekinesis? Yes, telekinesis. So, like all spells, you have to charge your horn, and then you have to... You sort of just move the book with your mind. It's pretty simple. And you just stop the magic to make it drop. Now you try. Where are you going with that? Oh, um, um, I can get it! Got it! Got it! Obviously you have the advantage of wings as well. So what other spells can you do? What about the spell you used to fix the chandelier? Oh, that one was simple. You just levitate the pieces together and it will sort of fix itself. It's magic, it's hard to explain. A 
fixed it! Of course, the bigger the item, the more complex it is. What now? Just go get into hijinks. See if it really did benefit you. Okay. Hello, Bucket! Goodbye, Bucket! Might be wise to go retrieve that bucket. Oi, where did my bucket go? Sorry, Leo. Huh? Get it. Huh? Wait, since I have magic, can I teleport? Okay. To France! To France! Meh. Cups. Flying cups everywhere. Hmm. Peculiar. I don't know why Crimson was so worried. I don't know why I was so worried. Literally, nothing can go wrong. Just magic. Intervene and battle soon as dawn.